everybody, welcome back to Young Adults Home Groups. Good to be with everybody. Hope your group is blessed tonight. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you about an event church has going on this Saturday. You may have heard about it Sunday morning. Pastor Joe was talking about it. I'm going to look at the schedule here on Sama's phone, actually. Uh, it starts at 9 a.m., ends around 2.30, and it's going to be live in person for you. You're invited, uh, but then there, there's going to be video testimony of people in the persecuted church, a chance to pray for what's going on. So learning about the persecuted church, praying for the persecuted church, times of worship, um, and uh, free provided lunch. So it's going to be in the CPAC, which is that the amphitheater room in the back of the church where the addictions meeting actually meets on Monday night, not the auditorium that we meet in. So you have to sign up online. Sama, how do you sign up online? Missions.ccphilly.org. Missions.ccphilly.org. Uh, that's how you can sign up so they know you're coming trying to get a count for the lunch they're making. So, and it, and it is definitely a young adults approved lunch. I will tell you that I've heard what they're having and I think that you guys will like it with your palate. So tonight, Psalms 3, 4, 127 and 116. I picked these Psalms because I was thinking about the theme of sleep. They all talk about sleep and rest. And then I realized they all also talk about other themes around sleep and rest. And what's really interesting is they talk about enduring the kinds of people that persecute God's people and crying out to God. We've seen several of these weeks we've been together, the theme of crying out to the Lord and the Lord hearing our prayer. But it's interesting that in Psalms where sleeping and resting in security are mentioned, it's sleep and rest in the middle of difficult trying times. So I just thought we could jump into those psalms together tonight. As usual, I have questions for you guys to discuss, and you may take these things to prayer or wherever the Lord leads you. Um, God bless you guys, and hope to be back together as a large group next week.